Okay, so the moment he understood it, he was ready for it. I'm sure he prepared this promo knowing that this is what was going to happen. So I thought that was really good. What I thought was a little over the top was the uh, what comes across to me as a little bit of prepared emotion, right? I don't, I can't tell if that emotion about his dad being his hero and his dad telling him why he didn't win the title in that photo, like all that stuff. I'm not sure I bought that that was real emotion, like off the cuff, you know, AEW yeah. style promo that's not written. It felt like a really written promo, um, very WWE promo. And I, and I'm almost to the point of where, you know, in parentheses, it was like, you know, make sure you cry right here. So I, I may, I may be being a little hard on him. Otherwise, I thought it was a really good performance. What did you think of that promo to open up Raw? Um, so I, uh, you want me to be honest? <laughs> yeah, of course, I, I, I will be honest. Okay, and I'm gonna rewatch it again. I was not blown away by the promo. Okay, a and and I'm gonna tell you why. Right, it was a Cody promo, which I'm always a fan of, but I felt that you took out a lot of the things that made it feel genuine by obviously having scripted points and scripted moments in it. And you could tell when listening to the promo, which points were Cody's and what was a WWE injection. And even the tone in the words he was using was changing from sentence to sentence when it was his and when it was when it wasn't his. I found that to be the the you know, Cody's always over the top. He he's an he's a he's a great actor. And that's something you need to be in, in wrestling. You need to be a great actor. But he's an actor in his own words, over yes. he's an actor in the words of a writer that's assisting you with this promo. There were a couple of those moments that I watched and I and I thought, okay, you know, this is definitely not him. This is a, what they gave him. Um I I don't know. I I I was a little conflicted on how I felt. There were there were moments of that 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 promo that were really good, but there were also some moments that took me out of it because I, I I could be just me looking at it as is this his or is this WWE's? And I'm sure that he was nervous as hell also. You know, this isn't this is his moment. This is Cody's big moment to solidify himself as the, you know, as a world champion in WWE, something his dad never did. Uh, obviously that's going to be the big story here. It's going to be to, to surpass his father in that sense. Um, you know, I, I hope he does. I really hope he does. And I really hope he becomes a top guy in that company. I'm rooting for him. I I'm rooting for WWE in this case, because I think this is good for wrestling if Cody works, but dude, I'm going to, I'm going to be so honest with you. And I, and I texted you this and I'm sure people get upset with me when I say this, but after going to SummerSlam, I came out a different person when I watched WWE and it ju just feels super highly produced and scripted. Mm -hmm. And I felt that this is what it was. It was highly produced, highly, highly, uh, you know, written out. And it, it was, it, it fit the style of a WWE promo that I feel that they need to break a little bit. And I think with a guy like Cody with having the control he does, I want to see him break that mold a little bit more. Does that make sense? I think I think it's a great point. It's a great point because you want to distinguish him from just being part of the roster, right? And one of those things is 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 the promo style. Now, it was very much a promo style of Cody, but he's using words like bestow. And I'm like, mm, if I I mean, I've talked to Cody in person. I don't think he's ever used the word bestow could, in, in know, front of me before. Maybe he could use it. <laughs> he, he uses that. Oh, I um, bestowed upon. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, the, the one the one thing, though, is uh, I'm shooting for this dude because, A, I want to see WWE uh, take advantage of opportunities like AEW has going the other yeah. way. And, and B, this guy has a great story when you think about it. He comes yeah. up, the son of Dusty Rhodes, as somebody who we all thought could probably be a pretty big star gets kind of caught up in, you know, the WWE system in a, in a negative way. He goes through a bunch of different uh, gimmicks with legacy with Randy Orton and Ted DiBiase Jr. Um, 
dashing Cody Rhodes. I, I had a little fun with that one. When he, remember when he had the mustache? I like the uh, mustache. And- I like I liked <laughs> it when he thought he was ugly. I like that whole thing. That was a great. I I, I very much enjoyed it.